Hi there, I'm going to make a DVD uh, video on my Shriek Show DVD collection, also known as Tokyo Shock Media Blaster. It's all under the same umbrella of Media, uh, media Blasters. Um, it's a DVD company that I have a love-hate relationship with because I've had a lot of defective DVDs from them in the past. and I've also had a lot of cosmetic errors like cracked discs. Um, so it's, I'm always playing with fire when I um, buy a Shriek Show DVD, you know, because you never know if I'm going to get a defective DVD or not. I'll go over uh, the, the DVDs I have in no particular order. I do own quite a few of their DVDs because I'm a cult film fanatic. I love uh, trash European films, cult films, and they release some, you know, some of the best ones there are. So, um, in no order, I have House on the Edge of the Park, Ruggiero de Otato's uh, Urban Cannibal Holocaust classic there. I believe that one is out of print right now. Joe Diamato's Beyond the Darkness. Um, very gory. Um, really, uh, I'm not big on Joe D'Amato's style because um, uh, his, his style looks very cheap. He's mostly known for directing porn, so his horror films are don't look that good in my opinion. But it has a lot of interesting stuff in it. Uh, Delirium. It's a interesting, bizarre jello from Lamberto Bava. I really enjoyed it. Not a good jello by any means, but. Rogero D'Arotato's Jungle Holocaust, a.k.a. Last Cannibal World. Um, I love this film. It's not as good as Cannibal Holocaust, but damn close. That is one of uh, Shriek Show's best releases. Got Sergio Martino's Eaten Alive, another cannibal film. This one's full of stock footage, uh, but uh, from other cannibal films in the genre. Um, still a must-own for cult film fanatics. Got a pseudo-cannibal film here, kind of a trashy jungle adventure, Massacre in Dinosaur Valley. Got uh, Black Demons, a Berta Lenzi's film. Released in Italy as Demons 3, but again, it has nothing to do with Lamberto Bava's Demons 1 and 2. Lucio Fucci Zombie 3, first Shriek Show DVD I ever bought. Been wanting to see that for years, because in the days of VHS, it was impossible to find. Lamberto Bava's film, The Ogre. Of course, Shriek Show had to plaster Demons 3 on the top. It has nothing to do with Demons 1 and 2. They just did that to sell more copies, so don't be fooled into it. This DVD does have a defect where the screen turns black for a few seconds, but uh, when it, by Shriek Show standards, that's relatively tame, trust me, because I've had a ton that frees up. Alberto Lenzi's Euro Crime film, Syndicate Sadist. I love the Euro Crime film genre, and it's a damn shame Shriek Show didn't release more films from there. Got uh, Lucio Fucci's The Sweet House of Horrors, one of two made-for-TV movies he made. This one is quite awful, but I do thank Shriek Show for releasing it on DVD to let fans watch it. Got Lucio Fucci's Demonia. Uh, terrible, terrible film, but again, thanks Shriek Show for at least letting fans see it. Got uh, Lu uh, Lucio Fucci's Touch of Death. This is actually taken from a VHS master because the original negative and elements have been thought to have been lost. So, um, uh, so you gotta, you gotta be lenient on this release because VHS is the only way to get that, get that film. Lucio Fucci's Murder Rock, a wonderful two disc set, and probably, in my humble opinion, the best transfer streak show's ever done. Just looks marvelous, and a, and and this is a wonderfully cheesy Lucio Fucci film. Got Lucio Fucci's The Lizard and Woman Skin Jallo. Uh, this is the original two disc edition has a widescreen uncut uh, version, and then it has a full screen VH transfer of an uncut version. They later released a single disc edition which combined both, which makes sense, but I just never got around to getting it, so I still have the old two disc edition. Uh, got uh, Joe Diamato's uh, Anthropophagus. Uh, uh, notorious for a couple gore scenes, you know, like the cover shows, he's ripping out his guts, uh, but not a very good film. Um, Again, because of Joe Dumato's uh, crummy style, in my humble opinion. Sergio Martino's All the Colors of the Dark, a wonderful giallo here. Um, and just beautifully, beautifully filmed. Lucio Fucci's The House of Clocks, the second of his two made-for-TV films. Um, I like this one much, much, much better than The Sweet House of Horrors, and one of his better films from the late 80s. Um, I do recommend that one. Enzo G. Castellari's 1990, The Bronx Warriors. Love that artwork. Shriek Show, for the most part, was really good at their artwork. Trashy uh, Italian uh, futuristic action film there. 
Enzo G. Costarares, the new Barbarians, a.k.a. Warriors of the Wasteland, cheesy, cheesy Mad Max ripoff there. 2019, after the fall of New York, I remember seeing this in the days of VHS, and I just love it. Sergio Martino, just cheesy as hell. I love this film. Got Flesh Eater, and uh, that uh, stars the guy who played the zomb the first zombie in Night of the Living Dead. Terrible zombie film. I got it in some packs, so that's why I own it. Bruno Matai's uh, The Other Hell, um, a non-sploitation horror film, but sadly it is not near as good as Rats, Night of Terror, Hell of the Living Dead. It's, uh, it's actually mostly dull, so... A Muck Train, better known as Beyond the Door 3. The title screen even still says Beyond the Door 3. Uh, I do have to say the cover artwork on this release is quite terrible. It looks like a direct-to-video horror piece of crap, modern piece of crap. So, but uh, a wonderfully bad film again. As you can tell, Shriek Show, they release mostly trashy films. All the really great Italian uh, horror films got picked, uh, picked by uh, uh, Blue Underground and Anchor Bay. So, um... They were kind of left over with the trashy films, but I still love the trashy films over there. Got some British horror here. Pete Walker's Frightmare. Some people had a problem with defective discs on this one. I did not, thankfully. House of Whipcord and Die Screaming Marianne. I did buy their release of Pete Walker's The Flesh and Blood Show, but my DVD was defective. I went through three copies, and it froze up each time. So I kind of got pissed at the company, and I did not buy the releases of The Confessional and The Comeback because of it. Umberto Lenzi's Man from Deep River, the film that kickstarted the whole uh, cannibal subgenre. Burial Ground, uh, a.k.a. The Night of Terror, wonderfully bad Italian zombie film there. Zombie Holocaust, which mixes the Italian cannibal genre with the uh, Italian zombie genre, not as good as... It's kind of like zombie meets cannibal holocaust. Not as good as either, but um, a fine film for cult film fanatics. After Death, I refuse to call it that zombie four like Demons 3. They plaster that shit on there to try to get you to buy the DVD. Uh, really bad film, but again, I enjoyed the hell out of it. Got uh, Cop Killers. I didn't really like this film. It's kind of a forgettable 70s American grindhouse type of film uh, starring the guy from Flesh Gordon. There's some, I got The Being from the director of uh, Blood Diner. I, uh, this is one of them I had cosmetic problems with. The disc, I, I kept ordering this and returning it because the disc kept coming cracked. But I wanted to keep the damn movie, so I finally just used super glue and fixed the disc myself. Uh, Code Red has uh, re-released it, and I'm thinking about uh, rebuying it. Another film I kept getting cracked was Bud Cardos' The Dark. Um, I really enjoy this 70s film. Uh, again, I had to fix it with the goddamn super glue. And no, it's not because I'm pressing it too hard to get the discs out. They come that way. Um, let's see, then I got uh, a couple Tokyo Shock, Matango, uh, also known as Attack of the Mushroom People. Wonderful cheesy Japanese horror there. And Ricky O, the story of Ricky. Uh, horrible cover out on that release, I have to admit. Not Definitely not... Uh, sh uh, Media Blaster's best release, uh, but a, a must-own film if you have it. That's my Shriek Show DVD collection, the company that I have a love-hate relationship with. Um, leave comments uh, below um, if, if anyone else has had problems with uh, defective DVDs and such. I've had defective DVDs such as films like Tenement, and uh, I can go on and on. I, I've forgotten all the defective DVDs. Um, Slaughter uh, Hotel, that's another one. Uh, but I do love the movies they release. Uh, Gotta admit, I'm a trash film uh, lover, so uh, peace out.